Okay, all uh, right. Okay, uh, I I hope uh, everybody are safe and healthy and at home and in your works. This is the main thing now. And uh, uh, um, like yesterday, like Zoe, I beg your pardon for my English is a little bit uh, short and I try to explain as better as I can do, but uh, for me it's a little bit difficult. Um, uh, okay, today we're going to talk about the the pink and the white um, aesthetics. Uh, well, it doesn't work, I don't know why. Here it is, okay. Okay, the pink and white aesthetics. When, when uh, okay, here. Okay, um, for me, uh, this is a very interesting uh, combination with the, the stain and glaze, the biomic and, um, and the biomic for gum. Uh, for me, the, the, the standard goal in my lab, in my, in my currently day, my currently uh, work in my work day, is uh, uh, the combination of the stain and glaze biomic and gum and 3D Pro for me is the, is the gold standard. Uh, but we're going to talk about something about the Ficonio, or not only the 3D Pro, we're going to talk about uh, all the Ficonios like HT and why we choose one of them, one of HT or 3D Pro. I, I have some problems with the presentation. It doesn't work now, I don't know why. Here it is. Okay, okay. This is this is that uh, that I mean. This is um, 3D Pro with uh, a biomic uh, standing list. Uh, for the currently work uh, every day, I think is a very easy to uh, to find a good uh, look, a good restorations, a good aesthetic restorations uh, with uh, uh, less work, uh, only with the staining. And designing uh, a good with a good liberty, and only with the standing we can get uh, a good uh, aesthetics like this. Um, this is the same in another view or another one. All is 3D Pro. 3D Pro is a very good material. I, I like so much because uh, the translucency of the and the mechanical. Um, uh, resistation uh, of the that material is is very interesting for me for working implants or in interior sector. But uh, we have a lot of zirconiums. Well, well, but which one I do it? Uh, I chose which one. Which uh, but which one do I do choose? This is um, generally poor aesthetics when when we work in HT only. For posteriors, uh, maybe it's right, maybe. But uh, in from, from my opinion, it's a uh, little bit short. It's, uh, it's not, not, not good to match. Uh, we need uh, a lot of work to, um, to, to get some aesthetic results uh, like this, only with uh, a little bit of stains in, in the surface or, um, or in inside. Uh, when I uh, work in HD, I work a lot of uh, a lot of uh, internal stains and infiltrate, and after that I, I first I like grading uh, by hand. Uh, after that I infiltrate some some stains, and uh, after the sinterization I work with with uh, with biomic, but. Uh, in my opinion, is not, not is not good enough for for uh, any works is okay in the posteriors. I repeat, but uh, not for interiors. For interiors, it's a, bit, a little bit short. Uh, like this, this is HT. Uh, sometimes I I use HT because I need uh, 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 extra hardness uh, like this. Uh, or the patient is uh, is very is very very. Uh, uh, Mm, I need a, a very big uh, um, designs, you know, and very big, uh, very high harness. And sometimes I, I use HT. With HT and the biomic gum and biomic stains, 
we can and and with a this is the translucency of the HGT, we can do like this but uh, uh, for all the mouth it's okay but uh, when we're going to restoration on only uh, anterior sector or in uh, or, or only in posteriors i think it's too short and uh, i need to infiltrate a lot of uh, stains internal stains in the in the incisal area and uh, in the interdental area and uh, I have a lot of work. Um, I, I, I win in harness, but uh, not in aesthetics. In aesthetics, in aesthetics, win of course uh, 3D Pro, but uh, sometimes it's not not so hard, you know, for for any patients. This is the final work. It's a good result. We have uh, sometimes we need uh, use AT to HT to uh, in in. Uh, in a big restoration like this, 30 millimeters of uh, high is too big for me. I work this in, in 3D Pro is, uh, is a little bit risk. Um, commonly, I, 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 I take out the, the work in the, in the millimaging and after that I work uh, by hand, ever I work by hand because the texture is not enough for me. In my opinion, it's not enough. Um, I, I need to independence more the pieces and make more uh, texture in the surface. And I, I, I touch uh, a little bit the, the surface like this, you know, uh, but the, the millimaging, uh, they doesn't do that. Um, uh, I, I think uh, it's, uh, it's interesting or it's a good idea to uh, take the, um, to work the 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 the, the um, texture, you know, and sometimes I infiltrate the uh, internal stains, uh, the magic coloring of IDT. Um, but in normally in HT, this is HT two. Um, in uh, 3D Pro, I only use the stains, the internal stains, pre uh, sintering in the interproximal areas or in the incisal area. But we must uh, take a lot of care with that because uh, the zirconia is uh, established with yttrium and the internal stains like these, the, especially the, the gray one and the blue one, uh, have a lot, a lot of uh, uh, yttrium. A lot of yttrium inside of restoration is uh, is uh, is not a good idea because uh, the the structure is going to be um, reduce the the hardness uh, is is less than the uh, than the initial uh, specifications. You know, uh, we have with three D Pro in the in the occlusal area about uh, six hundred megapascals, but uh, if we're going to infiltrate with uh, more yttrium, with uh, gray or bluish, uh, is going to be down. You know, no, we want we're going to don't have six hundred anymore. Take careful with that. This is a problem uh, for the for the incisal area when we're going to infiltrate uh, pre pre sintering. This is a HT again. Um, we infiltrate, uh, like I told you, in the interproximal area, and after that we're going to apply the um, biomic, uh, the biomic uh, stains, and that's all. You can see that we we use the the internal stains to uh, increase the stainization of profound of of. of uh, of deep in, in between the, the pieces, and increase the uh, the the uh, color between the in between the pieces uh, near the um, cervical area. This is HT. No, sorry. This is a 3D Pro. I use a lot of uh, commonly in my lab. I use I use a lot of uh, 3D Pro in anterior sector like this. Uh, sometimes when when uh, when the texture is not so good like this is is so flat uh, for any reasons because we have done we ha we haven't uh, we haven't uh, photos or I don't know why now um, we can do the texture with the 3D glaze uh, I'm going to show you 
uh, I, I do that uh, in three stage. First, I uh, prepare the structure, maybe some blasting or not. Uh, I don't recommend uh, some blasting. I, I don't like it. Uh, it's, it's okay, some blast, but uh, uh, I don't like it. I, I use uh, another thing. Uh, after that, we, um, we're going to talk about that, how to prepare the, the surface after uh, pre, pre use the the biomic uh, the biomic stains um after that look this is translucency of 3d pro and after that i use the 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 makeup to according the the characteristic of the patient uh, maybe more blue is in the inside cell area or uh, orange in the interproximal area and after that I use the uh, 3D for made the texture. Uh, when I make the, the, the surface, the, the, the texture with the 3D, I um, polish by hand after that. You, you can uh, uh, touch with uh, rubber wheels or diamonds or something like that, but, and, and you can glaze again. Uh, Sometimes when you when when I glaze again the the 3D is going to be a lot of shine. It's uh, I don't like to so much. Uh, I prefer um, touch with uh, with uh, rubber wheels and uh, hand polish. After that, I'm going to show you. Uh, this is the glazing. For me, it's too shiny. You can see here and hand polish, like I told you, where I hand to polish to control the shining. This is the final work, final restoration. Place and mouth the same day of the play of the, of the, 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 the work is the, place, the placement day. Uh, this is a 3D Pro again. You can see how I increase the, the, the color in the cervical and interproximal area. It's very easy with, uh, with that stains, glazing and polish, and that's all. Here is in the mouth. You can see there's a very natural, is uh, like, uh, like the natural teeth, or this case. If I, I I don't tell you uh, which one is the is the is the crown, uh, you can tell me which, which one is the crown. The crown is a, is a, is a twenty two. Uh, it's uh, again three D pro. I come to show you. This is the initial situation, the day of the placement of the implant. I'm going to bring down. Okay, this is the. Uh, final restoration only with the stains, only stains. Look, the inside salaria is only stains. It's an it's effect of the translucency. It's not real translucency in the, in the inside salaria. This is another one in a posterior sector. Uh, or again, in anterior is the 12. Sorry, is a 22. Okay. Uh, one important thing when we work in, in monolithics, I, I, I do a lot of monolithics in my work today. One, uh, the most important thing is the, is the polish of the surface. Um, when we uh, work with, uh, with zirconium, uh, like uh, 3D Pro, is uh, harder than, uh, is very near, but it's harder than the natural teeth. And we need to polish like a mirror. Uh, this is the, here. This, we, we need to use um, um, uh, a polish rubber uh, like, uh, like, uh, like that one. Uh, the first one is, is for take out the, the excess of the corneal of the connector. The second one is uh, is for uh, beginning the polish, continue the polish, and the finite 
uh, the, the fine polish with uh, with shine. Uh, look at it. It's like this. We we need that surface. Uh, imagine uh, that that the this one. This I mean, imagine the first picture in contact of the antagonist of natural teeth of the patient is is like a sandpaper. You know, uh, this is press sintering. Uh, after sandblasting, sometimes uh, we use the sandblast uh, pre, um, um, pre uh, makeup. And look, uh, this is the surface after sandblasting. This is like a sandpaper. Uh, Post graining, if the, the, the doctor touched the um, occlusal area and, and leave like this, like the third image uh, photo, uh, this is uh, going to be in contact of the antagonist with the natural teeth. This is a, like a sandpaper. The, and we need the fourth one. The fourth one is like a mirror. It's a polished surface. Okay. Um, another important thing is the choice of the correct uh, structure, the correct, the correct color of the structure. Sometimes I have problems in the incisal area uh, because it's uh, for me it's a little bit whitish uh, in in all the colors, not not uh, not only in the A color or B, in all the in all the the, the colors A to 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 D. I think the incisal area, for my opinion, I repeat, it's a little bit whitish. That's the reason that I I, I need to infiltrate some gray or some uh, blue uh, uh, pre-sintering. Uh, you can see here the, the denting is, is right, you know. Here you can see, like, uh, it's, it's very similar in the, in the middle area or in the cervical area. And we must uh, think in the natural teeth like this. Uh, the, the color is, uh, is maybe A2, A3 or A4, I don't know. Uh, whatever, but uh, in the cervical area we have um, we have more intensive color, and going to degrees to the incisal area. Incisal area, we have less saturation, less and less saturation to the uh, to the occlusal area. Maybe sometimes we have uh, more orange uh, or in the in the occlusal uh, in the middle of the occlusal, but uh, we need to correct that problem because uh, when we have a, a, a white teeth area in the incisal in, in, in the incisal edge, the, the restorations, the final restoration in the mouth, like a, like a bulb, you know, is very lighty, and, and we need we need to to going down that that luminosity, that 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 value. We're going to be down with gray or uh, bluish. Uh, this is that talk about it. Uh, we uh, start with uh, one uh, one grade uh, of uh, high value, uh, progressive makeup. If we're going to be darker, maybe sometimes we need to uh, make a progressive makeup, not only in one time, maybe in two or three times. It depends. Uh, make fluor, of course, because the, the nature is uh, the natural teeth are fluor. Uh, and hand police uh, to control the, uh, the the shining. Uh, be careful with the, with the fluorescence because uh, this this case uh, uh, we we make with uh, with zirconium, but this uh, is a fall is a is very is a wrong case because we use um, uh, is, we, that case uh, that case have uh, maybe maybe uh, eight years now. And is a wrong case. Uh, is look like natural uh, in the picture. Uh, look very good. Is a uh, eleven, uh, but is a wrong collection of the material of the cover material. Is not uh, fluoglaze. I don't have in that moment uh, uh, biomic, and I use a wrong a wrong uh, system a, a wrong material to to glaze that one. And look. What happened? Uh, the restorations could 
very low, uh, very nice. Uh, the, the color, the value, and the hue is right. You can see, I, I have three, I make three punch with uh, Photoshop and then I, I uh, compare with the natural teeth. The natural teeth is uh, 21. And it's not the same, but very, very similar. I'm very happy with that restoration. In, in one central, it's very, is uh, the, the most difficult for one for, for a ceramist. Um, and I think it's, it's okay, but it's, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong. Why? This is the initial situation. You can see the, the patient come to the to the clinic, to the to the dental office like this. We change the teeth like this. It look nice, but Look, this is the problem. Be careful with, with that. Uh, the advantages is the, the biomic is, uh, is a fluor, uh, have a very, very uh, uh, high fluorescence in the, in, the, um, in the glaze and different fluorescence in the, in the stains. The stains not, is not, they, 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 have, they haven't the same fluorescence, but the, the glaze is very, very high fluorescence. I like it. Because compared with the with the natural teeth, the natural teeth is very very have uh, very high fluorescence, and this is a thick conium without a fl uh, fluor uh, glaze. This is a wrong because when the patient go to the to the street and uh, with a natural light with the sun is going to be gray. It's going to be uh, like 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 a gray teeth, not not like in the picture that I show you. This is the final restoration when we change the the the, the fluorescence. You can see now it look like a natural teeth. Okay, this is the that I, what what uh, I talking about you. Uh, this is a D a D two, uh, but look what happened in the cervical area is like a D two is very very similar. I take a punch with uh, with a Photoshop. I, I compare with uh, my my teeth. Is D two, but look what happened in incisal area. Is 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 I don't like that. I don't like it. For me, it's two white teeth. Uh, Everything is the same. That's the reason that uh, I uh, put uh, some gray or some bluey bluish in uh, pre filter pre sintering. Uh, because I think all the incisal area are very wide. If we're going to uh, restore all the mouth, it's not so important, like the, the, the first one like I show you. But uh, when we're going to restore only one, is a problem, it's a big problem. Here, the milling matching is not, is not uh, enough for me. I uh, remark and testuring and independent uh, the, the, the bridge and after that, I uh, I make the makeup with brown, orange, white. We're going to show you after that how to do uh, how to do I I how to I do it uh, with a map. Uh, commonly in the cervical area, I increase the color with the shade. In that case, it's a shade. Uh, in the uh, incisal area, I increase the gray or the bluish with the purple gray uh, for some some um, stains or for some 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 um, brown in the in the uh, occlusal area. I used uh, terracotta brown for increase more the brown in the in the central area and white in the crest of the uh, incisal area. This is commonly okay for for work. Uh, the zirconium in in green stage in in uh, press entering. Uh, I use a very simple uh, bars. Uh, uh, the zero point zero point three millimeters bar. I use a lot for uh, for grading the the occlusal surface for increase the the the. The, the occlusal surface, like this. This is, uh, I take out the milling matching, like this. I take out the connector, 
I polish with uh, that rubber is uh, is the same like the I use in with uh, with uh, acrylic. I customize my 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 bar uh, for make lines or uh, like this, you know. I customize my bar uh, and with the 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 left one I I used to uh, remark some marks in the in the vestibular area or polish some like this, you know. Can I this uh, can I do that 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 lines with that uh, bar uh, this is pre and after uh, make the texture of the texturing I'm going to show you a little video maybe it's only two minutes uh, and I talk about that characterization uh, here okay okay when when I make the the texturing Sorry, it's, for me, is, is it too high, the music? Okay. Um, I use the lateral light to see the uh, how I do it. Uh, because uh, with a sanitary light or, 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 or very hard light, uh, it's impossible to, to see the volume or the lines that we, uh, we, uh, we are going to do it. And... With a lateral light, I see all the things that I'm going to do it. Now with the 0 0.3 uh, bar, I remark the occlusal area. I use a lot that, that bar. Ever with globs, I recommend to you uh, work the the um, uh, the green uh, in a green state, the the press entering use globs because uh, sometimes when when you go into infiltrate, if you touch with your with your with your node hands, maybe you can put uh, uh, some uh, uh, some uh, material, some grease or something like that, and after that is is very difficult to infiltrate. Okay, I make some little characteristics in the vestibular area. I use uh, again the lateral light. For me now, it's okay. Compare with the like uh, when I when I take off of the of the milling machine. Here in the palatal area, I don't like that 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 uh, that point near the connector. I'm going to polish a little bit more, like this. This is the rubber that, that I told you. Okay. Okay. After that, we're going to infiltrate some some uh, internal stains. Uh, commonly, I do when when I make a, a aged crown. Uh, we're going to think about the surface when 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 uh, we uh, try to imitate the old one or age one age uh, aged uh, crown. We need to polish a lot the surface because the the old the, the aged teeth is more polished, more shiny. The young teeth is half a perichematis and mm, uh, very thin lines, you know, and the reflection is very different. The reflection in a young tooth is uh, is diffuse and uh, in an aged, aged tooth is uh, like a mirror, is a specular, uh, a specular reflection. That's the reason that I polish a lot the uh, when going to uh, to do to do an aged crown, I polish more, I make less texture, and again I use a 0.3 millimeter bar, and this is uh, the different. Sorry, this is a different 
uh, between the the, uh, the 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 Joan crown and the aged crown. You, know, you can see the surface is more polished, more more clean. I use the magic coloring of Edita to increase uh, some some details, like uh, increase the profound the, the the deep uh, the deep effect in the in the occlusal area with orange or gray in the aged crown. You can see in the in the left hand in the left hand uh, is HT. Uh, sorry, is a 3D Pro. Uh, both are 3D Pro, but uh, you can see. I, I apply a little bit bluish uh, in the incisal area because for my, in my opinion, it's, it's a little bit white uh, in, um, uh, after the, 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 the milling. I use a little bit blue or uh, gray in, uh, in occlusal area, only that, and uh, a little bit in the, to increase the, the, the deep uh, effect in the occlusal area with orange, no more. Growth orange. In this of gray or blue, for the aged crown, I make more intensive area in the cervical with A or brown or orange, it depends, or the patient. Going to the sintering. And after the sintering, this is the young and the age. The young, you can see the how, how he increase the the sensation of the, the deep sensation in the in the center of the occlusal area only with uh, a little bit orange uh, of uh, and uh, you can see is more gray the um, the occlusal area in the age in the aged one with the same color a2 in that case with 3d pro we can obtain more uh, different results only with the infiltration I like so much. Think in the in the fluorescence, the natural teeth have a lot of fluorescence. Remember that. And that's that's the reason. This is a, in the left uh, in the left one is uh, in the left hand is um, is a uh, uh, 3D without the stains without glaze. In the in the right uh, we can see the 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 fluorescence of the glaze is is very high i like so much the fluorescence of that that uh, that glaze after the glaze we ever we control with uh, with hand polish this is the final work only with uh, external stains a little bit internal stains this is with uh, the john one in the left the aged one in the right only with uh, external stains, I, I do that. Nobody can say that ground is uh, is not uh, is not uh, is, is only painting, you know. I use white and terracotta, blue in the in the to increase the uh, uh, the sensation of uh, translucency. Brown, some some cracks or something like that, or some characteristics. Shade uh, in shade E A and in, uh, in the cervical area, uh, but uh, I don't use shade uh, like uh, in the in a in a junk one because the three D Pro is uh, is very near of the of the A the A color or B or okay brown in the occlusal area to increase the sensation of deep. This is a pre makeup and post makeup. And the fluorescence again. This is the fluorescence. Remember, the zirconium has thousands of totally of fluorescence. We need to use um, to use uh, a fluorescence. Uh, um, a fluorescence uh, uh, glaze and makeup. Okay, um, now I'm going to show you how I use that one in uh, in interiors. Uh, after the milling, I use uh, to um, um, I use the disc 
only in in a green stage only in a green stage never never uh, do that in the uh, after the sintering never do that in after sintering uh, i independ a little bit more i use again the 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 bar uh, 0 .0 0.3 millimeters again the rubber is the same like in the posterior and that is uh, that, that that bar. I don't know the, the word in English of that thing. Is uh, is a, is um, is like a Scotch pretty well for polish the surface. You can see here. Uh, now is uh, the surface is preparing for a little bit infiltration. Only a little bit. Remember, we're going to uh, work with uh, 3D Pro. This is. Uh, the difference uh, of the surface. Yeah, this is a, that, that photo. I love that photo. You can see the texture in the in the in the centrals. Uh, that's what I needed. Uh, but the milling machine doesn't doesn't do that. I need to work by hand uh, after the print the milling. You know. Okay. This is uh, uh, the infiltration. Uh, the map of infiltration for uh, 3D Pro. Only a little bit in the incisal area to increase the sensation of the of the uh, translucency a little bit uh, in the canine i i make a, a more uh, saturation of, of the a color uh, like in the natural teeth uh, in the uh, interproximal area i use a little bit uh, orange growth orange in that case and a little bit again in the incisal area blue and gray no, sorry, in that case, it's dark and white and, and light gray. You can use a uh, blue. Okay, after sintering, I'm going to uh, make the makeup and glaze. Uh, this is the difference of the 3D Pro and HT. Uh, HT. Um, for me, uh, is a, is a very good for, in, for interior users, the 3D Pro. This is the difference, you can see it. In that case, I'm going to use white to, in the halo for make the halo effect, uh, but not, uh, not only white, maybe I, I um, mix sometimes with a little uh, portion of terracotta because the white is, is too white for me. Uh, purple gray in the incisal area, blue to increase the sensation of translucency in the, uh, in the um in the uh i don't remember now in the uh in that in that tone you know terracotta to increase the profound the, the sensation of deep in the between the the the, the, the pieces uh purple gray and yellow to make the mamelons shade again if uh, normal, commonly I, I use again shader in the canine, not, not in the lateral or central, but uh, sometimes I use to increase the, uh, the saturation of that phone. You can see the zirconium is half uh, absence of, uh, totally absence of the fluorescence. And this is when we use the, uh, flu the, the glaze fluor. Okay. Um, now we're going to talk about the. Uh, sorry, this is an interesting picture. This is the 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 the, um, the IT to biomic uh, stains, uh, ceramic, and I take that photo because for me it's very interesting. Uh, which one is more fluorescence or less fluorescence? The the glaze is the is a more fluorescence is the high fluorescence of the of the set, but uh, if you compare, sorry, I'm going to be the back. Okay, if you compare that, the brown is not uh, so high, the white is, is too high, the yellow is medium. Uh, okay, take care with uh, with that because if you're going to uh, make more dark one crown. If you use a lot of uh, brown or shade uh, you're going to uh, le uh, take uh, less uh, fluorescence of the restoration. Uh, take care with that. But uh, we have a, a, a 
um, a very good weapon with uh, with the glaze, the three D and, and normal and F glaze because it's too much fluorescent. You can see here, it's too much. Of course, the gum uh, uh, is not fluorescent. This is a good thing because uh, we we are not uh, we are not fluorescent in the, in the outside. Huh? Only the teeth. You can see, it's not fluorescent. It's a good thing. And this is a very interesting thing again, is the color palette. I use the A2 because uh, in my opinion, is the color that I uh, use more, uh, more use in, in my lab, A2, A3. And I have uh, one color palette of uh, A2 and I can see the color like, uh, like in a restoration in the palette. And if you can see the palette with uh, UV uh, light, uh, UV light uh, is, um, I know which one is more fluorescent or less fluorescent of, the, of that uh, stains. Okay, uh, the stains, I, I use the, the, the stains to high saturation I talked about uh, before uh, for increase the saturation in the, in the cervical area on the, on the, um, the, in the middle area with orange, with uh, wine one and two. Uh, the tone, uh, I, I can change the tone with, with, with the shades, uh, A2, uh, 2D in the central area. In the warm tone, I use again orange one, orange two, and in incisal area or cold tone, I use mauve or uh, blue one, blue, blue two, or black to, to create the gray sens uh, uh, sensation of the incisal edge. Um, those ones I use for make uh, some characteristic of the, of the teeth, the pink or uh, the white is in the central area, or uh, to imitate uh, the, the cracks, white ones, white, white cracks or uh, brown. I use the brown to make the cracks too. Or orange again, I use the orange to, uh, to create the sensation of mammalons or uh, the yellow, yellowish uh, incisal area. Um, that's a, that I told you. I use the A2. You can you can buy that one in A3 or uh, whatever you want. And the liquid. Uh, what about the liquid? Uh, I use the uh, the liquid one for make more. Um, uh for 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 mix the um and make more fluid the the, the steins but uh, i use the two not only the liquid two not only for the 3d past i use for the prepare the structure to um to after um, before the, the the stains i prefer that one uh, i prefer use the the liquid two uh at um, sun blasting uh, for my opinion, I, I, is is better. Uh, but uh, you you can try it. The the, the liquid too to prepare the structure uh, before you use the uh, the stains. That's what I told you. Uh, some blasting, uh, it depends. I don't like it, but uh, as you wish, you can do it. But uh, uh, I prefer this one. This is uh, after some blasting, I have problems. But look. After some blasting, some blasting, if I use the liquid too, the, 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 all the surface is very wet, you know? We prepare very, uh, the, the surface to uh, begin to uh, use the, the stains. Uh, not the, the liquid one, the liquid two, okay? The liquid two is, uh, is, uh, is commonly used for a mix, uh, more for make more fluid uh, 3D past. After that, I begin to the, the after prepare the structure, I, I begin to the, uh, to the uh, makeup, increase the sensation of uh, dip in the, between the pieces with, uh, with, uh, with the shade or maybe with the orange. Sometimes I, I, I use a lot of orange, blue one or blue two in the sisal area. This is a standard uh, standard makeup for, for A2, maybe. 
in the palatal area, in the, okay. And after that, we use, commonly I use, when, when I need to correct some things of the texture of the, uh, of the sharp of the teeth, I use the 3D pass to make some corrections. Maybe in the incisal edge or the, of the contact points or uh, a lot of things. No? But uh, commonly I, I use for change the texture. You can see here. Uh, after apply the 3D past, I, I sintering and I grading by hand and polish by hand. And sometimes I glaze with the F glaze uh, again. You can see here. Uh, I change some texture or, or the uh, incisal area. I change some things. You can see uh, the incisal edge of the of the twenty one. I change the the twenty one and the twenty three. Only with uh, with the three D past is very easy. And after that, sometimes I I use again the makeup uh, mix with the with the uh, glaze F and. Put in the furnace again, and that's all. This is the final restoration. You can see the incisal area, the, 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 the sensation of translucency, and I increase the deep sensation in the between the pieces, and I increase the uh, the saturation of the canine. This is uh, I commonly work every day. The brown to make some characteristics of the teeth. Uh, sometimes I use orange of terracotta to increase the, the, the saturation. This is uh, the creation of mamelons. The blue one, blue two or gray in the sisal area. And in the sisal edge, I use uh, the mix. Sometimes I mix white with terracotta to make the halo effect. In the palatal area, I do the same. The same. I I work a lot of with orange in the in the cervical area. We increase the, the the saturation with the shade. I use the blue again in the sisal area. It doesn't work here. Yeah, okay, in the sisal area, the brown again. White. This is uh that that would would that. Uh, this is uh, here. Okay, this is a. Uh, I the first stage. I, I uh, prepare the surface with the uh, uh, liquid number two. After that, I make the makeup. Uh, after the makeup, uh, I put in the furnace in the first uh, bake. Uh, I take out and texturing with the three D past and. I finish sometimes with glaze or sometimes with hand polish, okay, for a stage. Sometimes we can do in, in two a stage or three, it depends on you. Uh, in, in my workly day is commonly used the first one, of course, the second one, and we pass to the fourth one. Uh, not, not ever use the, the texturing with the 3D past, but uh, in aesthetic uh, interiors I use is commonly to use the uh, fourth stage, you know. Okay, we're going to talk about the relationship of the white area and the pink area. Uh, when we think in pink, uh, we must think in white. Why? Because the, we work on the bone. The bone is white. The bone is not pink. And the bone have some characteristics for uh, for us, and we must think in in the bone when when we apply the the thing the 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 the, the biomic uh, gum. Uh, here you can see that uh, that in that picture you can see the speaker is uh, is uh, have a relation with the uh, soft tissue. You can see this is a speaker, and the soft tissue have the same curve is is parallel. And we must think in that. When, when we design the structure, we must think in that. And uh, uh, here you can see, okay, okay. You can see the bone here and uh, 
the bone have uh, valleys and uh, alveolar bone have uh, have uh, have a, a valleys and alveolar spaces and uh, the the soft tissue going to de do the same uh, like this you can see look the canine the eminence of the canine of the lateral you can see the the soft tissue is the same like uh, like uh, like a bone no we have a, a very uh, a very thin a very very uh, uh, um, a relationship be between the pink and the and the bone you know the soft tissue is uh, is uh, over the bone and the bone uh, where is the bone is is the soft tissue you can see here uh, this is uh, a biomegam with uh, 3D past. You can see. Well, we're going to talk about uh, the thin and thick, uh, uh, the thin and thick uh, uh, tissue, and we're going to talk about that. The UV light again. The pink one is not uh, is is dark in the UV light and the. Uh, white uh, aesthetics is uh, under the UV light is going to be light. Okay, that's uh, when when we design the structures, uh, we must to think uh, uh, how uh, going to do with the with the with the pink uh, with the pink uh, uh, biomic. Uh, I uh, we have. A little space, but uh, I never, never use the pink stains to coloring the structure. Never, uh, because the bone is um, is like a, a two or a three. It depends on the patient, but not commonly, uh, the bone is uh, is white, like this. You can, I can show you. I can show you. Oh, sorry, it's a little bit video again. I'm going to show you how uh, I, I use the biomic gum. Uh, um, I uh, I prepare the surface like in a in a in a, in a white aesthetics uh, with the liquid too. Uh, sorry, the music is a little bit high for me. I don't know for you, but for me it's too high. Okay, okay. I I start with a pink too. Not ever. Not ever. I'm going to talk about that uh, after after the video. Uh, the pink too to to cover uh, the main part of the structure. Uh, after that, I work with pink three in a ballet space of in in alveolar bone uh, to increase the sensation of bloody area. And uh, uh, after that, with the pink four, I aptly more intensive in the in the, between the alveolar bone uh, increase the sensation of bloody area in a in a body zone the pink one in a in a to create the sensation of the free gingiva and after that some little spots of uh, of uh, uh, pink four uh, sorry five in the Deep papilla in the, between the teeth, or increase the sensation of the bustles in the in the final of the of the structure to increase the sensation of bloody area. I make the first bake after that, and I apply now the three D uh, mix with uh, pink one uh, in the uh, to increase the sensation of the. Um, of the free gingiva and make a little bit degrade to the free gingiva to, to down. And after that, I mix with uh, 3D pass with, uh, with, uh, with uh, pink three to apply in the ballet phone. Again, I use the blot effects. After that, we're going to talk about the, the texture in a, in a gum because uh, I, I, I changed some things like in that video. This is a second bake and the final restoration, very simple, very fast, very quick and with a natural aspect, okay. 
after that, we uh, use uh, the hand polish again. This is so only remember that the, the white part is uh, it's only painted. Okay. Okay. This is the structure. Uh, look the 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 structure is like a bone in uh, in uh, in uh, down the teeth. I I I don't like to use the the pink is the internal stains to to make a pink. In the video you can show the pink, but uh, uh, I only use uh, maybe in uh, for 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 show you in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a course in a formation course because. Uh, I make use of uh, internal stage, stains, but uh, in my uh, currently day in my in my office, I, I never use the pink. I don't like it. Um, what about the pink here? Uh, this is a set. Uh, uh, for me, is enough because uh, with uh, five uh, five uh, pink uh, um, colors is enough because you can mix. I mix, of course, uh, uh, the the pink one to 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 pink five. I I mix, uh, or you can mix the pink one to pink five with the pink air, and you can increase or, or uh, the, the 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 darkness or uh, the pink one with a little bit uh, part of pink air or something like that. And you can use uh, to mix with the three D. Uh, I mix the 3D, the one to five, not not only the one to four, only the one to five, and the pink air I only use to uh, mix with the uh, pink one to pink four, like this. Uh, sometimes we, we we think the 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 pink four and pink air is uh, only for to uh, the pass, but uh, I use the five to mix with the one to four. Uh, sometimes I use not not whatever it depends of the of the characteristic characteristic of the patient, and of course I mix with the uh, 3D pass the pink one to pink four I I mix with the 3D uh, or pink air okay uh, okay when when think uh, pink we must think in white of course remember uh, here is the bone. Uh, is uh, uh, the bone is uh, is like a two maybe okay here is the bone those are the roots okay this is the free gingiva and this is the body area between the roots and alveolar bone at below zone of the bone and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, relationships between the contact point, the bone, and the point of the papilla. Uh, what happened? Sorry, something is wrong again. I don't know what happened. Here, okay. Okay. Uh, this is the relationship that I told you. The, the bone crest and the, bone, the end of the papilla and the contact point are uh, are uh, very similar the separation in uh, between the bone and the end of the papilla and the end of the papilla to the contact point uh, think about that if if we make the contact point too high uh, we're going to make a very flat uh, we must to make a very flat uh, 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 crest of the papilla the, the point of the papilla we're going to make a biotype type uh, the, uh, uh, very thick biotype because the papilla is going to be flat. Why? Because the contact point is going to be upper. Uh, if you put the contact point down, uh, the papilla is going to be down because the, the bone is going to be down. And you can do um, um, uh, a, a thin biotype. I'm going to talk about that in, uh, in one case. Uh, in that area, commonly I use the pin three or pin four. It depends of the if I going to do a thing or thick uh, biotype. If going to, if is a, a thick biotype, I use four. If a thing in a thin biotype, I use three. Uh, the same for the alveolar bone for alveolar zone. Sorry, uh, if I use three in in the in the body zone, I going to use one more in the in the alveolar zone. 
uh, I use going to be, I'm going to use uh, three, okay? And here I'm going to use the free gingiva with pink one, whatever I use, okay? The free gingiva. Okay, that's what I, I told you. If you're going to be up, put up the, the, the contact point, uh, your bone is going to be upper and your the papilla is going to be upper, going to be a, a, a flat papilla, going to be a thick, uh, a thick uh, biotype. Uh, and I increase the sensation when I, when I make a thick biotype, I increase the sensation of, uh, of the deep sensation with terracotta in that point here. Uh, can you see? Okay. The structure of coloring, uh, uh, we must think in white again. When we think in pink, we think in white. What happened with the bone? The bone is like A2, like this, maybe A3. No, sorry, this is A3. No? Yes. <laughs> sorry, this is A3. Sometimes it's A2 or A3. It depends, but uh, I work uh, commonly. I use the A2 or A3 to the framework, like this. You know, this is a natural bone. This is a natural school, and I can... Uh, see the bone here, and the bone is white, like this, A3. Okay, this is my framework. The, the, the white zone is, uh, is maybe A2, but uh, the, the bone zone the, the, the soft, uh, for the soft tissue is A3. Why? Because the bone is not pink, it's white. That's the reason. Like in the school, like in a, in a, in a natural bone. Okay, this is my, my custom uh, color palette. I use the, 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 the one to five in the upper zone and in the down zone. And in the, I, I use the same mix with 20% uh, of uh, 3D past. Is, uh, in, the, in the first one, you can see the three, uh, three past, uh, three, three gingiva with uh, 3D in the downturn with a 20%, mixed with a 20%. The, the second one is a two with, uh, with a, the same. In the downturn is a 3D with a 20%. In a one is again, is, uh, the 20% in a 3D is, 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 is almost white. And the four and the five is the same. It's my, 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 my palette over uh, a two, um, uh, A2 uh, zirconium, yeah, okay. This is in the mouth of the patient. Like I can choose the, 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 the mix, another patient. You can see it's more violet or more uh, pink or more white. You can choose. That's why I told you the different biotypes, thin and thick. Uh, uh, when when uh, we're going to finish with that, um, think biotype in the left uh, side, in the right side, uh, a thick biotype. Uh, in a thick biotype, it's going the, the papilla is going to be upper, uh, and I use um, uh, um, we have less uh, soft tissue. I'm going to use uh, to to the face uh, pink too. And for the thick, I'm going to use, sorry, it's wrong again. I don't want to know what happened. Okay, sorry. In a, in a thick biotype, I'm going to use to, for base color, uh, the pink three. And uh, the second, the second uh, stage is pink three for the down zone in the, um, in a thick biotype and pink four in a, in a thick, you're going to, you, you can see that the, the papilla in the, in, the, in the right side is going to be down, is more flat, it's a, it's a thick biotype, you know, but uh, they have more, um, more, 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 uh, more uh, bloody, more, more, more soft tissue, more big, uh, um, uh, Oh, here, here, okay. Okay, here is after the, the, um, the first bake, you can see is more light uh, in the left uh, side in the thin biotype and a little bit darker, more, more bloody in a, in, a, in a thick biotype, more flat and more dark. Uh, 
I use the 3D Pro now. Um, I, uh, you can see, I, I, sorry, and I'm going to back again, sorry. I, I don't use here uh, the one, why? Because I'm going to, 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 um, to create the sensation of the free gingiba with a 3D only, with a 3D mix with a 20%, 20% with a one. Okay, with uh, because I, I like more uh, create the, the free papilla with a 3D pass, not, not with a 2D, like this. Now, I apply, uh, I ever apply the, the, the dark first, his uh, 3D with, um, with a pink three at uh, 30% in the left side. And here I apply the same, but with the four, with a pink four. I'm going to be upper because it's darker, that the, the, uh, the thick biotype is going to be darker commonly, not ever, but commonly. And uh, to make the free gingiba, I use the pink one uh, with uh, 3D at 20% in, uh, in both cases, in the left and the right, the thick and the, and the thick. And I decrease a little bit from the, from the teeth to down. And uh, the Fresnel, I, I use uh, the pink one, uh, uh, sorry, only uh, the pink one, uh, 3D and a little bit white is uh, the stain white, okay? Uh, you can see in the, in the left one is uh, the, the alveolar bone and the body zone is going to be uh, more high and deep. And in the left, in the in the right side, uh, is going to be flat because it's a, it's a thick biotype. You know, the papilla is going to be down; it's more flat. Okay, what about the te texturing? Uh, in my opinion, in my opinion, uh, uh, the temperature for the for the sintering is too high. I used two furnace to to do that. I use the Camille one. And I use uh, DKM in the both furnace. The, the result is the same. I'm going to be. I need to to reduce the the temperature. I'm going to show you now my 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 uh, temperature of the furnace. Um, okay, to do the, the the texture, I dry a little bit, like uh, soya talked yesterday. I'm going to be uh, dry a little bit because I control better the texture. Like this, you can see I, 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 with a hard brush, I can do the orange skin. Never in the, never use the, 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 the that brush in the, in the free gingiva, only in the ballet or in the, in the, uh, in the upper zone, but never near the teeth. And uh, uh, with the drying, uh, we are drying 3D past uh, when, when it's dry, it's, it's easy to do that, that uh, texture. You can see here, it's not completely dry, but a little bit. Okay, that I show you. Uh, here's my sintering chart. No, sorry, this is the, the recommendation of the IDTE for the sintering. Uh, in my opinion, the, the final, uh, the final uh, sintering, the, the final temporary for sintering is too high. And uh, Soya talked yesterday, is very interesting, Soya, congratulations. It's very interesting that, that, that you talked yesterday about the, the final temperature and the uh, head rise. For me, I think it's wrong. It's too, too high, this uh, head rise. I'm going to put in my, in my opinion, in my opinion, okay, I repeat again. Uh, I use that, that, uh, that correction. Uh, not more than 30 or... 25 in the, in the lock restorations of uh, heat rays, I'm going to be down the centric temp um, for uh, 715 or 710. It depends on the 2D or 3D. Uh, for my opinion, if uh, I need uh, more texture, I'm going to use uh, 710. Uh, if, you, if I like more shiny, I'm going to use uh, 715, but without maintenance, without. I don't like, uh, it's too much for me. I, I don't like the maintenance or only 30 seconds, maybe. I can show you here. This is a 3D pass with a, with a hover brush. 
I make the texture in a, with a hard brush and I put in the furnace with a 730 and look the, in the in the left side is uh, a 730 in the right side is 710. Uh, in my opinion, if I need texture, I'm going to use 710. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I use 710. You can see, you can show, show, uh, show the difference. It's very, very shiny in the left one and uh, more, but uh, take care with that because it's going to be uh, down more than 15 degrees. We, we're going to obtain uh, a whitish color and, and it's, uh, it's not so good, okay? Be careful with that. Uh, sorry, I show you again. 730 in the, in the left, 710 in the right. Okay, here is uh, here the, this is the same experience. In the in the left, uh, I, I use less temperature. You can see the the orange skin in the in the texture of the of the of the gum, and in the left, in the right side, you can see uh, seven thirty. Uh, and it's, for me, it's too high shining. But uh, for sometimes it's okay for a lot of doctors like the a very shiny and clean uh, gum. Uh, uh, for my opinion and my, my experience is more aesthetic and more natural, the, the left one, but I, I know is, a, is, a, is, is not a good thing for the, if, if the patient is not clean very good, you know? Um, here you can see 710, 730, no holding time in a 710, okay? But in 730, again, I, I, I don't use the holding time. It, for me, it's too, too shiny, too shiny. If you put one minute of, of uh, maintenance, for my opinion, it's too high. Here are the final, the final restorations. So you can see the thick biotype and the thin biotype. Uh, in the thick, in the thick uh, biotype, uh, the, the papilla is going to be upper, more flat. In the uh, the uh, the color is going to be darker, but in the uh, um, free gingiva is the same. In the, both cases, the in the right side you can see the thick biotype. The papilla is going to be down, but the color is more light. You can see compared here. The texture, the left and the right, the thick and thin biotypes is, uh, uh, I, I, I told you before, uh, we, we, we have a very relationships very uh, between the white and the pink aesthetics. I, I going to increase the sensation of deep in the, between the, the teeth with the orange in a, in a thick biotype, you can see here. That's why I told you. It's not the same, it's very similar, but it's not the same. When I compare both, the bone is in, in here, you can see, is uh, the same, but uh, it's not the same, but it's similar, okay? The papilla in the, in, the, in the right side is going to be down. We have more bone, we have more soft tissue and more flesh, more, more pink, you know? Okay. Okay, and now we are finished with, with that case. Thank you for everybody. And uh, okay, and now uh, I know if uh, you have some questions of the... Of the... Hello, Le, how are you? Can I hear me? Hello. Hello. Okay. Ah, hello. Now I can yeah. hear you. Sorry. Hi, so there I go. This is Tyler. Huh? Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. And uh, okay. wait for me. I, I will uh, give Miss, Miss Lay songs moment okay okay mm -hmm. hello how are you hello how are hello. you 
<laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, if you have uh, any questions, you can send me or send uh, Santiago. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's some guy asking. Mm. Yeah, Santiago, you can look the comments. Mm, yeah. Do you always use Camel furnace for bell make gum fairy? This question from Firam Mog. Can see? Uh, sorry. Sorry. Like me. Uh, 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 again. I don't see the chat. I don't know why. I don't you can't see the, see the comments? No, 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 I can see it. I can't. I don't know why. Uh, okay, okay uh, so I will send you the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. No, I can see. I can see it. I don't know why. Huh? I can see. You can the, see. No, okay. no, I don't know why. Oh, here. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I see now. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, uh, do you always use the cameo for? No, no. Uh, I use uh, the cameo, and uh, I use um, uh, Evoclar, and I use. Uh, uh, the Kema, and but the result is is very similar, very similar. Uh, the cameo is is a good thing for use because uh, uh, have the pre um, pre um, programming the 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 temperature and the for the for the for that uh, for the bi biomic, but uh, it, the result the final result is the same. But I use uh, three three forms for that one. Here is another question. Um, I think it's Spanish. This uh, question uh, from Nani. I go in. Uh, uh, for the material. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, um, here in Spain, I, I don't know that the, the, the that. Uh, that guy is, is in Spain. In Spain, we we uh, that uh, he he uh, must to contact with Toto Catcam. He's the the seller here in Spain, and uh, it's possible to 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 give to to them uh, the material for for trying. I, I'm going to talk to 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 answer in Spanish because uh, the 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 answer the the question is in Spanish. Okay. Eh, no sé si el que hace la pregunta está en España, pero el distribuidor en España es todo CatCam y seguramente él pueda distribuirte o, o proporcionarte eh, material para probar. Ok, have you another question? Yeah. Ok. Question. Ok, it's finished. Thanks okay. for Santiago. It's very useful courses. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, so, you so, much. so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay. See you. See you later. See you. Yeah, Bye. You. Yeah, yeah, Bye. Yeah. Bye. Thank you, Bye. Bye. Thank you.